that some women not suited for marriage. Others, it just looks that way. Like Sam. Yes, she's independent and career-oriented. That doesn't mean she doesn't want to get married. That's where your problems come in. Sam and I don't have any problems. And that's where you come in, completely clueless. Sam wants to get married. She does? Yeah. She's just too scared or whatever to tell you. Did she tell you this? No. It's just simple logic. Thank God. Nellie normally is so off the wall, you would probably be committed right away, so I don't know what this would mean. Do you, do you think Maxie makes good points? What? I mean, do you think she's uh, perceptive when it, when it comes to you? I, I, I don't know what that means. If Maxie said she knew about something that you wanted but you were afraid to ask, would she be right? I'm not sure what you're getting at here. Maxie told me uh, that you loved me. Oh, newsflash. Which I already know. And I just hope you know that I that I love you, too. Yeah, I, I sort of got that impression. Good, well, because that's, you know, that's what's most important. Okay. But like I said, uh, according to Maxie, there's uh, something that you want, but you don't want to ask because... Well, that's, that's the part I'm, I'm, I'm really not clear on because you might think that I don't want it because the truth is I really haven't thought about it. I mean, this time I haven't. I did before. We talked about it. You know, We were together and, and then we broke up and we got back together and we really didn't talk about it and I didn't know if, the, if you were still interested. And maybe you are, but maybe you're just waiting for me to bring it to you because that's usually how it happens. Are you talking about having a baby? Totally separate issue. You're talking about marriage. Sorry I'm late. What? We were supposed to go to dinner. Yes. I'm so sorry, Sam. It's okay. All right, changing plans. What's going on? I uh, thought I made peace with this business years ago. Now all of a sudden I'm starting to think maybe I should quit. Dante isn't going to bring your son back. And, and it's not going to guarantee that if you and I were to have a child, our child would have a perfect life. Yeah, I know. Do you? I'm not telling you what to do, Jason, any more than you would ever tell me what to do. I'm just asking you to be sure of what you're choosing and why. If it were up to you, what would you want? Well, I don't see you being very happy doing anything ordinary. Yeah, you're probably right about that. I could see you traveling the world. Oh, you like to travel. I do. And if you're offering for me to sell away with you, I just might be tempted. And then I start thinking, Jason, you know, about my family, my sisters and my mom, and it's just not really realistic because what would Spinelli do without a PI partner? What would Carly do without her Jason? She would wind up in jail and probably go crazy, and who would Michael turn to? Just... So you'd want to stay? I just want you to be true to yourself. No matter what happens, then you better get going. There's a lot of people counting on you. Thank you for listening to me. Because I'm, I'm not sure about a lot right now, but I'm sure about this. you. I didn't expect to see you so soon. Well, I don't like the idea of you being here alone. I'm fine. Oh, you're fine. I am. That's what you always say. I'm always right. Are you? Mm. So. Yeah. 
What's going on out in the big bad world? Um, it's been all this tracking information that we got from Sean about mm -hmm. Theo's holding company, and once we get an address, we can maybe figure out where he's actually keeping Brenda. But until then, it's just a holding pattern. Mm, it's the worst. Seeing you on that gurney. That was the worst. But you're okay. I am. And I'm not gonna think about it. I just wanna be here with you. Well, that is very sweet. I have some good news. I could use that right now. I'm getting out of here tomorrow. What? Uh-huh. You are you sure it's not too soon? No, you yes, push it? I'm I'm sure. Patrick told me that I was good to go. He he said that I would probably experience some severe headaches or something from the concussion, but he was just warning me, so no, I'm warning you. Don't panic. Okay. You know, I still have the uh, offer on the table. Oh, yeah. Have you decided what you want to do to celebrate when we get you out of here? Why put off till tomorrow what we can do right now? Staring at each other, standing in the rain, getting wet. I don't, oh, I don't... They don't care. They love each other. It's... Is she waking up? Yeah, it looks like it. Go ahead. Talk to her. Can you hear me? Can you wake up? I'm right here. Oh, thank God. I'm so, um, I'm just so worried. About you now that you're, you're awake. I just can't tell you how happy I am. Oriented. Sam, you're in the hospital. Just try and relax and let us help you. It's okay, I'm right here. Sam, are you feeling any pain? Sam, can you tell us what's wrong? I can't hear you. We need to find out the extent of the injuries. This should help with the communication gap. Sam. uncommon with a concussion. But this doesn't explain the hearing loss. She was in an enclosed area when the blast occurred. She could be dealing with brain damage from the blunt force trauma. But given there's no evidence of a brain bleed on the scans, the hearing loss could be temporary. When we know for sure? I'm going to call in a specialist. We'll get some answers. We'll be back. ever talk <laughs> and I've, I've gotten good at figuring out what you're thinking
see there? It's like a, it's like next to the North Star. It's a constellation that wraps around like a band. That, 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 that's your constellation. Uh, what, what makes it mine? Well, because it's, it's the Draco, like the dragon, like in our wedding bells. Oh, yeah, dragon. What, is there a, is there a phoenix up there somewhere? Well, uh, that's a, that's a southern constellation. You have to be closer to the equator to see it. Well, can you, uh, can you see it in Hawaii? Oh, I've, I have seen it salvaging off the coast of Australia before. I mean, I, I guess we could try and see it from there. I mean, as soon as we are gonna go still. Yeah, of, co of course. Why would you even ask? Well, I mean, <laughs> we got on your bike and we rode off in the opposite direction of the airport, and now we're standing up here under the sky looking at the, the stars, stars that you wanted to memorize the position in, so you would never forget what they look like tonight. I did. Right? It's just. It's just. It's a gorgeous night. I'm here with my husband. Nothing else in the world no, matters. No, no. You, can, you can tell me. I can? Yeah. Okay. It's just... I was kind of hoping that I would be waking up next to you in Hawaii mm -hmm. to see the sunrise tomorrow. Then we will. Promise? So, are there any other constellations you would like to show me at this point in our marriage? Stop it, to be honest. We haven't what? been able to spot one single one. Uh, I haven't seen a damn thing you, <laughs> you pointed <laughs> out. I just, you know, you see things that I don't, and it just looks like a bunch of stars to me. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's better to do it your way. Instead of making up a bunch of pictures and stories about the sky, you just appreciate it. Wow, that's nice. Most people would say that I lack imagination. Oh, well, I know you better than most people, so... Well, that's exactly how marriage is supposed to be. You know what most people say about you? Hmm. That you're not romantic, and they couldn't be more wrong. Is there anything else that you didn't get? Besides the uh, sunrise in Hawaii? No, I've gotten everything. Everything. Well, maybe there's uh, things you didn't even know that... You want it. Or the, that we want it. That's what uh, makes things a little more interesting as we, uh, we go along. Do you think I hide my wants from you? I know that you never ask me for anything. No, I, no I'm just saying, because if we're talking about people not expressing their oh. needs, I think you do a pretty good job at it. So what, there's nothing? Nothing? I mean, we had our unconventional wedding, like we wanted. Mm -hmm. Not some version of us. I have you. Yeah. I have tonight. I have whatever is next to come. I have a sky. It's a big, huge sky. I know. I should have put in for a moon. No, I don't need one. Nope. When you are a captain of the boat, stars are what matters. And again, that makes me remember someone and something I haven't in a while now. What are you thinking about? Hey, hmm. you're not getting jealous on our wedding night, are you? No, I just want to help you, you know, the look on your face. It was for Danny, my brother. <sighs> yeah, Danny. I can't imagine what it was like for him growing up and having to be locked in a basement and being hidden away because his so-called mother was embarrassed because he was mentally challenged. He told me that there were nights kind of long into it when Evelyn would forget to lock him up. And, and he didn't run away? No, he was too scared. And the devil he knew was less scary than the world at large. Would, would he leave the basement at all? Yeah, um, he told me he would go to this old spring house that was on the property. And, um, he said there was a hole in the roof. 
And he, he would go in there and he would stretch out on the floor and he'd, he'd look up into the sky and he would count the stars that went by and wait for the moon to crawl across the sky and shine down on him. He did tell me that some nights the moon it was so bright and it shined on him, it was like a blanket. And he felt safe. Like he wasn't alone. It's like I put one with you. Or maybe because I know Danny is watching over us. He'd be happy. He liked you, Jason. Well, and then again, he, he really did like dragons. <laughs> Try not to let him down. Strange, isn't it? The people we let go, places we see. We should get going. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. What? We probably just missed our plane. Wait, you wanna sit out here all night alone? Hmm, what if I said I did? Well, then I would sit out here all night with you. But I have uh, something better in mind. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's a, to you? It's a surprise. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Since when do you do surprises? Uh, since we're on our honeymoon. Oh.